come you're not at work, by the way? The work's no coming in, Rab. I'm worried sick. Ah, I've always managed in the past. <laughs> It'll not be the first time I have held off a squad of bailiffs with a soup pan helmet and a broom horn. We've moved up a level since then, Rab. You do not need me to tell you that we have got a lot to lose. To wit. Oh, no. Nah, nah. It's taking much easy to get one of these things. I'll tell you, she, she when I die, that's getting unbolted for the war and I'm getting carried out in tapia. Because if I'm going to that great Curry's Valhalla in the sky, that slim screen beauty's coming with me. Face facts, Rab. We can't keep up the payments. Look here, I bring the envelope. Oh, that's a little bit of money, watch. What'd you say? <laughs> Bastards! What's the matter? They're threatening to stop my bed of it. After all these years, I feel used. You'd be a lovely wee portable lot, Mazda. Never. I will take this right to Strasbourg. I will prove that owning a plasma telly is a basic human right. Not human, Rab. This is Glasgow. We say human right. Oh, I, Rab, I too have been cruelly abused by this system, but uh, let me quote your sage. The ancient Chinese philosopher confused.com. He said that by nature, all men are the same. That's it? They don't get punchlines in China. <coughs> and, um, don't break your heart by trying to change the system. Just bend it a bit. Am I right, Lonnie? You're asking me? I stand before you a moral vacuum without a single scruple in my adult body, but you know what? James, he speaks my language. Thanks, pal. That's appreciated. Two turds meeting. <laughs> Isn't that so wonderful? There you go, Lonnie. Thank you, sweetness. I like your nails. Who does them? Adele, off Wilson Street. Mm. Keep an eye on those cuticles. I know. Tell me about it. What is it you do yourself, pal? Friend, in my life, I have done things that no man should. I wouldn't bore you with the gory details, but they were vile, unspeakable, horrible things. Who were you? A gangster? Gangster's mole. Stockbroker. And yes, I did lose it all in the credit crunch. Had a bit of a personal crisis. Came back home to chill. After my business collapsed, I dropped out. Figured I'd paid enough tax in my life to fund a dozen cottage hospitals. The state could keep me. So... I invented a personality disorder to keep the Department of Employment at bay. You should do the same. What kind of personality disorder? Well, I find there's only one that really phases them. Makes them back off and leave you free to smell the roses. But I wonder, are you man enough? Try me. Do you see what I see? It depends. Have you been drinking again? No. Well, I do see what you see. It's Grandpa. I've got a channy, Granny. Oh, don't look, Ken. <laughs> Rob Nesbitt. Rob Nesbitt. Candy Nesbitt. Come in. I don't believe it. I'm telling you, he was dressed up as a woman. Are you sure? Cover your ears. Look, he was polishing his bows like Freddie Flintoff, gallant men for the pavilion end. Satisfied. I can't believe what I'm hearing here. Why would Rab dress up as a woman? Why would any man dress up as a woman? He likes it! All right, all right, but live and let live. And that doesn't mean that Gas should be denied access to his daughter. Unless you're just using this as an excuse. An excuse? I'd to bribe her with her own body weight and picking mix to get her here. <laughs> How would you feel if you were her age, waiting for a bus, when across the street is your grandpa, sashaying along like Jackie Stallone after a welting shirt? <laughs> Somehow that's my fault. I didn't say it was your fault. This is a difficult situation for all of us. 
Gash. Gash, where are you? Where am I? Sitting in my jack with a face as long as a pensioner's arse eating a happy meal. Have you seen Bridie and Peaches? Well, son, eh, uh, uh, there's been a wee development here. How can I put this? Well, you know how you always said that you wish your da was the your da? Well, here's a turn up. How do you fancy him as your auntie? <laughs> I'll say one thing. Grandpa's got a cracking pair of legs. <laughs> and how long have you had this personality disorder, Mr...? Um... Oh, call me Candy. I went full-blown transvestite just after the death of poor Diana, ex-Princess of Wales, who, you'll remember, died at the cruel hands of the British establishment and the media rap pack. In fact, my wife was always saying to me, Rab, there are three of us in this marriage. There's you, there's me, and there's that crate of super laggers under the bed. You piss-stained, alky bastard that you are. <laughs> See, I was also a swelly abuser at the time. And what do you think has caused this uh, reoccurrence? Can I be frank? Of course. I feel I can talk to you, son. No, like some of these other clerks in here, you know. Go on. I'm sorry, son, but my bosom still heaves when I think about it, you know. It was... It was when I heard about the death of poor Jade Goody. The whole Diana thing, well, it just... It just came flooding back and I went out in a... a three-day mascara fuel bender. And when I woke up... When I woke up, I was on a treatment table. In A&E? No, Adele's in Wilson Street. I was lying there in my pop socks getting a back second crack. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, son. I mean, you know, I, I'm, no a, I'm no a woman trapped in a man's body, thank God. No, no. I'm just a... I'm just a 100% raging frockaholic. <laughs> I hope I haven't shocked you, son. No. <laughs> thank you for coming in. We'll be in touch. I hope so, Liam. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what do you think? Is he genuine? He's about as sexually confused as you are. You're not sexually confused, are you? No. <laughs> that was just once, at a Christmas party. Leave it to me. I'll put him under surveillance. Maybe that's me back. You'll never guess what's happened to me the day. <laughs> oh, you failed. <laughs> hey, you are, Mary. Life in the old dog yet, eh? <laughs> What's up? I don't mind if you smoke after sex, Rab. I don't even mind if you smoke during. It's when you stop in the middle and get up and get a light off the grill that I object. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mary, it's just well. I've got a lot in my mind, you know. I know that, Rab. It's all right, I'm not complaining. It's just nice to have my husband back and no widow twanky. <laughs> don't you worry, Mary. About a bloody long time before you see me in a frock again. A bloody long time. Bastards! <laughs> Mary! <coughs> you remember that red car that was parked outside last night? Aye. Well, they're back again this morning. And there's a pair of suspicious looking punters in it. You don't suppose? Only one way to fin it. <clears throat> Fight fire with fire.
Bastard. At this stage in our afternoon session, I'd like to invite you all to open your hearts. If there's any issues that are testing you or troubling you, speak now. And with the Lord's help, together, we can deal with them. Yes, young Christopher. Is it OK to wear flatties with a pencil skirt? What's the Lord's take? <coughs> May I refer you to the book of Ten Years Younger, verse 8? And God can speak, saying, Bring unto me he that is smart of us, and smart us, and I will smite him, fattening his lip into a Botox pout without the use of Botox. And I will blacken his eye without recourse to pencil or mascara. <laughs> Clearing up that fine theological point for you? Yes. Thanks, darling. <laughs> Push it. I've already told you there's a bloody good reason why I'm dressed like this. I'm trying to stop my benefit. Now, anyone else troubled? Yes. A boy has taken me to the record hop on Saturday. I've never been on a date before. How far should I go if he gets fresh? Well, I'm glad you brought that up. You pockmarked, addled bastard that you are. <laughs> and I would say you've gone quite far enough already, because I will tell you this. Sorry about this. In your handbag. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Hello. Peaches. <laughs> <laughs> you got a problem with that? Oh, she. Oh, oh, don't you worry, pet. I'll be right there. Okay. Joe. Uh, you'll have to excuse me. I'm on the school run. Same time next week. Break it up. What the hell do you think you're doing? He's getting pure to her enemy stuff. Huh? She's got a big mouth. She deserves it. She's annoying. You're annoying and all, but I don't go about doing this, do you? Hey! <laughs> no, because that would be bullying, wouldn't it? Oh, that's assault. You're done. All right, well, I better think of something else that's no assault, eh? How about if I poke you in the chest like that? That's an affront to my dignity. You've infringed my human rights. I'm telling the polis. Aye, why don't you do that? Away, away and tell the polis. And while you're doing that, I'll get my bus pass out and take her up your scheme. Because she will enjoy telling your badass posse how some transvestite pensioner granny tanned your gangster ass for you. You will go from Keith Flint to Harry Potter before you can say, smack my bitch up. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm sorry. Accepted. Here, boot your ass, anyway. Thanks, Papa. <laughs> Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Papa. <laughs> If you're not picking up a kitty, would you mind moving on, please? It's just we get an awful lot of weirdos coming about the school, you know. And if I find kinder eggs in that glove compartment, I'm going to have no option but to inform the neighbourhood watch committee. And how's that going to look in the Herald Diary? We're going... But now it gets personal. <laughs> You ever get the feeling you're maybe pushing your luck? Ra, do you want a cup of tea? Shh, don't call 
Mid Rab. What do you mean? Well, it's still outside. I mean, you might be running a wire. Running a wire? Oh, you're paranoid. You've been watching too much CSI. Watching it? If they've got their way, we'll be on the bloody thing. I'll be had up for fraud. Well, what do you want me, do? Well, uh, you should be in the safe side. Call me, call me candy at all times. I see. Well, do you want a cup of tea? Candy? Aye, peppermint. Hey, sugar. I could hardly get this zip up in my slacks this morning. It's pure mortifying. They're no slacks, rap. Candy. They're your suit trousers. Aye, well, whatever. Any more than that, I'll be hitting the comp plan. I take it you don't want a wee chocolate tea cake with your cup of tea then? Candy. Girlfriend, wash your mouth out! <laughs> So, what is it? Well, it's not often Gash and I are in agreement, tell her, Gash. Tell me what? No offence, but we don't want my dad seeing peaches anymore. Oh, but Rob dotes and peaches. And it's only natural that she gets to see her grandpa. Are you kidding? No one he's done up like Anne Widdicombe's ugly pal, it's no. <laughs> he should be playing bowls at his age, no cutting about in a pair of peep toes, happy slapping schoolboys like a genetically modified ladette. Oh, you know the score, son. You know the snoopers are watching him. To hear you talk, you would think he was actually enjoying this. Oh, Mary. What is it, Candy? Have you seen my pearl drop earrings? Aye. Your pearl drop earrings are in your quilted musical trinket box next to your vanity mirror and on top of the dressing table where you left them. <laughs> Honestly, men. <laughs> I mean, women. <laughs> Good. Who the hell do you mean? Well, don't ask us, Moon. <laughs> So, uh, <clears throat> what can I do for you, James, eh? Please, Rab, you're hinting that I have an agenda. No, I'm no, 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 no. I'm, I, I'm stating you're a weasel. I know you're up to something. I just don't know what it is yet. Rab, you have been struck down by one of the most virulent diseases of our time. Femininity. God knows I never asked for it. Now, if I know you, you will fight this. You will never let your disability stand in the way of you earning a decent, honesty, goodness loving. Ah, uh, you're bloody right. I will hold my head up, boy. I will. What do you mean, earning a living? You know, <laughs> we should be grateful that we've been born in an era of enlightenment, you know, when women are valued, thanks to the suffragettes. You know, ladies are now in all walks of life, politics, the arts. I was reading just the other day there, that a top-class hooker can now earn... Hooker! You want to put me on the... You want to put me on the game? Hear me out, Rab. I've been watching how you move in the pub. That smouldering pout as you glide down the mat to pull out your darts. That coy flick of your peekaboo hairdo as you sink your chops in your pie. I'm not going to be your hooker. Rab, let's talk figures. There are women in Glasgow Green right now turning over six to ten pounds a night. Now, are you telling me you're going to walk away for that kind of money? I could bump you. We could be players. I see. I'm supposed... I am supposed to hook my meat so you can run them up with the lashes. Is that it? It wouldn't be so much pimp my ride as ride my pimp. <laughs> what? You listen to me. Listen. I might look like a woman. I might dress like a woman. But you hear this, car. I will never, ever, I will never be your whole. Because I don't like men. And I don't like women. But I swallow my principles and I poacher them rampantly day after day new. Do you hear me complaining? God. Of all the conversations I have ever had with you, this has to be the most bizarre. <laughs> uh, is that your final word? It is. Uh, don't go. I've got to go. I have got a meeting. I'll bet you have. Who is it? 
Some young stallion in a torn vest lately. <laughs> a bastard. Do you know what you get? Right. You don't have to be my hoe. I love you. There, I've seen it. I'm late. Um, we could have had it all. <laughs> Cheerio, Jamesy. Um, <laughs> kiss it, Pink. <laughs> She's a suffering. You said this would work. I said each boss would work before Lloyd's gobbled it up. What the hell do I know? I'm messing with my sexual identity here. I, I don't know who the hell I'm anymore. Well, look on the bright side. You might not be you anymore, so there's a bonus for a start. <laughs> risk is a joy, Rab, not a punishment. You can say that. I've been lost ever in three risk. You lost yourself. I found myself. Tell me, does that suit pink or is this a bit muttony? What? What's wrong? Her back. Invasive swines! Now I know how Brittany felt. Yeah. <laughs> Look at it this way. You've invested your identity in stock during a bull market. Suddenly, it's a bear market. Prices are falling. You've lost your shirt. And gained a blouse. Either you panic and cool out, or you hold your nerve, wiggle your ass, and go for broke. What's it going to be? Bugger it. Introduce a heretical notion. Maybe he's telling the truth. What's that got to do with it? We're a government department. We don't do truth. We do targets. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Drive. What's that for? You know fine well why I did that. There wasn't quite like a gent size nine furry tongue in the back of your throat to help you reorientate your sexuality, isn't it? Dear <laughs> <laughs> God, she bloody snippers, Mary. That is it. I have had enough. <laughs> eh? Dear Candy, or Rab, or whoever the hell you are these days, as a compulsive exhibitionist, you'll know the camera never lies. Goodbye, Mary. Strap on the tips again. <laughs> Look at the pair of them. Oh, I should have guessed. It's a true saying. The wife's always the last to know. Uh, small detail. You're not the wife. I'm his pub wife. Well, at least I thought I was. Oh, men are such swines, aren't they? Uh, bitch. <laughs> yeah, anyway, thanks very much for the players, Lonnie. I came on much too strong, I'm sorry. I was only trying to help. Aye, I know, I know, but, well, I'm still in snook. I've still got to try and shake off these two drabs. Take a tip from an old trader. It's time to raise the stakes, scale them away from the market once and for all. Oh, I sure. But how? What do you 
think they're doing? I don't know about you, but I don't need three guesses. Do you think they're grave robbing? The pussycat dolls with shovels? Worse. Worse? Oh, necrophiliacs. A man who'd wear a pink thong is capable of anything. Look. Oh, sod this. I'm a civil servant, not the exorcist. What do you reckon? Let's go and harass some Lithuanian pub cleaners. It's easier. Right. They won't grab. They're off. Oh, thank God for that. I thought for a minute there I was going to have to hump the bloody thing. <laughs> Honest to Christ. She the length you've got to go to in this country to be a lazy bastard. What's a girl to do, eh? What is a boy to do? I'll tell you, see this lot. This lot is coming out for keeps. <laughs> You don't half open Pandora's box when you take a swatch inside yourself, eh? You see all the use that might have been if you'd taken a wrong turn. Candy Nesbit. No. Candy Nesbit. Never heard of her. Rap C Nesbit. That's me, boss. I'm coming in. <sighs> I've had enough of this. I'm throwing out my vanity case. And I'm hanging up my evening gloves. Do what the hell you like with me. I'm yours. Mr Nesbitt, I've read your file and I want you to know that you're under no pressure to return to the job market. I know from experience how hard it is to be different in life and how long and painful the road to acceptance can be. So you just come back and see us when you're, you know, ready. <laughs> Rose. I would just, I would just like to thank you for restoring my faith in humanity. I mean, you're no oil painting, I mean, you know that, but well, <laughs> you fit your own skin. And that's, that's all that any of us can ask in this life, isn't it? <laughs> I hope you get all the curiosity shags you can handle. <laughs> oh, well, there we are, eh? Well, <laughs> Mary! Who is that? Ah, oh, that's a very special lady, Mary. One of nature's gentlemen. Business as usual, Rob? Oh, business as usual. Business as usual. Thank God for that. <laughs> It's a true saying. The wife's always the last to know. Uh, small detail. You know the wife? I'm his pub wife. Well, at least I thought I was. Oh, men are such swines, aren't they? Uh, bitch. <laughs> anyway, thanks very much for the players, Lonnie. I came on much too strong, I'm sorry. I was only trying to help. Aye, I know, I know, but, well, I'm still in snook. I've still got to try and shake off these two drabs. Take a tip from an old trader. It's time to raise the stakes, scale them away from the market once and for all. Oh, aye, sure, but how? What do you think they're doing? 
I don't know about you, but I don't need three guesses. Do you think they're grave robbing? The pussycat dolls with shovels? Worse. Worse? Oh, necrophiliacs! A man who'd wear a pink thong is capable of anything. Look! Oh, sod this. I'm a civil servant, not the exorcist. What do you reckon? Let's go and harass some Lithuanian pub cleaners. It's easier. Right. They won't grab. They're off. Oh, thank God for that. I thought for a minute there I was going to have to hump the bloody thing. <laughs> Honest to Christ. See the length you've got to go in this country to be a lazy bastard. What's a girl to do, eh? What is a boy to do? I'll tell you, see this lot? This lot is coming out for keeps. <laughs> You don't half open Pandora's box when you take a swatch inside yourself, eh? You see all the use that might have been if you'd taken a wrong turn. Candy Nesbit? No. Candy Nesbit? Never heard of her. Rap C Nesbit? That's me, boss. I'm coming in. <sighs> I've had enough of this. I'm throwing out my vanity case. And I'm hanging up my evening gloves. Do what the hell you... Mark it, once and for all. Oh, I sure. But how? Three guesses. Do you think they're grave robbing? The pussycat dolls with shovels? Worse. Worse? Oh, necrophiliacs! A man who'd wear a pink thong is capable of anything. Look! Oh, sod this. I'm a civil servant, not the exorcist. What do you reckon? Let's go and harass some Lithuanian pub cleaners. It's easier. Right. They won't grab. They're off. Oh, thank God for that. I thought for a minute there I was going to have to hump the bloody thing. <laughs> Honest to Christ. See the length you've got to go in this country to be a lazy bastard. What's a girl to do, eh? What is a boy to do? I'll tell you, see this lot? This lot is coming out for keeps. <laughs> You don't half open Pandora's box when you take a swatch inside yourself, eh? You see all the use that might have been if you'd taken a wrong turn. Candy Nesbit? No. Candy Nesbit? Never heard of her. Rap C Nesbit? That's me, boss. I'm coming in. <sighs> I've had enough of this. I'm throwing out my vanity case. And I'm hanging up my evening gloves. Do what the hell you like with me. I'm yours. Mr Nesbitt, I've read your file and I want you to know that you're under no pressure to return to the job market. I know from experience how hard it is to be different in life and how long and painful the road to acceptance can be. So you just come back and see us when you're, you know, ready. <laughs> Rose. I would just, I would just like to thank you for restoring my faith in humanity. I mean, you're no oil paint. I mean, you know that. But well, <laughs> you fit your own skin, and that's that's all that any of us can ask in this life, isn't it? <laughs> I hope you get all the curiosity shags you can handle. <laughs> oh, well, there we are. Eh? Well. I know that, Rab. It's all right, I'm not complaining. It's just nice to have my husband back and no widow twanky. <laughs> Don't you worry, Mary. It'll be a bloody long time before you see me in a frock again. A bloody long time.
bastards. <laughs> Mary! You remember that red car that was parked outside last night? Aye. Well, they're back again this morning. And there's a pair of suspicious looking punters in it. You don't suppose? Only one way to find it. <clears throat> Fight fire with fire. afternoon session, I'd like to invite you all to open your hearts. If there's any issues that are testing you <laughs> or troubling you, speak now. And with the Lord's help, together, we can deal with them. <laughs> yes, young Christopher. Is it okay to wear flatties with a pencil skirt? What's the Lord's take? <clears throat> May I refer you to the book of Ten Years Younger, verse 8, and God Van Speak, saying, Bring unto me he that is smart of ours, and smart ours, and I will smite him, fattening his lip into a Botox pipe without the use of Botox, and I will blacken his eye without recourse to pencil or mascara. <laughs> Clearing up that fine theological point for you, Yes. Thanks, darling. <laughs> Don't push it. I've already told you there's a bloody good reason why I'm dressed like this. I'm trying to stop my benefit. Now, anyone else troubled? Yes. A boy is taking me to the record hop on Saturday. I've never been on a date before. How far should I go if he gets fresh? Ah, I'm glad you brought that up, you pock <laughs> eh? God! Dear Candy, or Rab, or whoever the hell you are these days, as a compulsive exhibitionist, you'll know the camera never lies. Goodbye, Mary. Oh. That's it. Time to strap on the tits again. Okay. It's a true saying. The wife's always the last to know. Uh, small detail. You know the wife? I'm his pub wife. Well, at least I thought I was. Oh, men are such swines, aren't they? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> anyway, thanks very much for the players, Lonnie. I came on much too strong, I'm sorry. I was only trying to help. Aye, I know, I know, but, well, I'm still in snook. I've still got to try and shake off these two drabs. Take a tip from an old trader. It's time to raise the stakes, scale them away from the market once and for all. Oh, aye, sure, but how? Three guesses. Do you think they're grave robbing? 
The pussycat dolls with shovels? Worse. Worse? Oh, necrophiliacs! A man who'd wear a pink thong is capable of anything. Look! I'm a civil servant, not the exorcist. What do you reckon? Let's go and harass some Lithuanian pub cleaners. It's easier. Right. They won't grab. They're off. Oh, thank God for that. I thought for a minute there I was going to have to hump the bloody thing. <laughs> Honest to Christ. She... I thought I was. Oh, men are such swines, aren't they? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Anyway, thanks very much for the players, Lonnie. I came on much too strong, I'm sorry. I was only trying to help. Aye, I know, I know, but, well, I'm still in snook. I've still got to try and shake off these two drabs. Take a tip from an old trader. It's time to raise the stakes, scare them away from the market once and for all. Oh, aye, sure. But how? Three guesses. Do you think they're grave robbing? The pussycat dolls with shovels? Worse. Worse? Wh oh, necrophiliacs! A man who'd wear a pink thong is capable of anything. Look! Oh, sod this. I'm a civil servant, not the exorcist. What do you reckon? Let's go and harass some Lithuanian pub cleaners. It's easier. Right. They won't grab. They're off. Oh, thank God for that. I thought for a minute there I was going to have to hump the bloody thing. <laughs> Honest to Christ. She's the length you've got to go to in this country to be a lazy bastard. What's a girl to do, eh? What is a boy to do? I'll tell you, see this lot? This lot is coming out for keeps. <laughs> You don't half open Pandora's box when you take a swatch inside yourself, eh? You see all the yous that might have been if you'd taken a wrong turn. Candy Nesbit? No. Candy Nesbit? Never heard of you. Rob C. Nesbit? That's me, boss. I'm coming in. <sighs> I've had enough of this. I'm throwing out my vanity case. And I'm hanging up my evening gloves. Do what the hell you like with me. I'm yours. Mr Nesbitt, I've read your file and I want you to know that you're under no pressure to return to the job market. I know from experience how hard it is to be different in life and how long and painful the road to acceptance can be. So you just come back and see us when you're, you know, ready. <laughs> Rose. I was just I'm getting unbolted for the war and I'm getting carried out in tapir because if I'm going to that great Curry's Valhalla in the sky, that slim screen beauty's coming with me. Face facts, Rab. We can't keep up the payments. Look here, I bring the envelope. Oh, that's a little bit of money. Watch. What did you say? <laughs> Bastards. What's the matter? They're threatening to stop my benefit. After all these years, I feel used. <laughs> Be a lovely wee portable up Mazda. Never. I will take this right to Strasbourg. I will prove that owning a plasma telly is a basic human right. Not human, Rab. This is Glasgow. We say human right. All right, Rab. I too have been cruelly abused by the system, but uh, let me quote your sage. The ancient Chinese philosopher Confused.com. He said that by nature, all men are the same. That's it. They don't get punchlines in China. <clears throat> and, um, don't break your heart by trying to change the system. Just bend it a bit. Am I right, Lonnie? You're asking me? 
I stand before you a moral vacuum without a single scruple in my adult body, but you know what? James, he speaks my language. Thanks, pal. That's appreciated. Two turds meeting. <laughs> Nature wonderful. There you go, Lonnie. Thank you, sweetness. I like your nails. Who does them? Adele, off Wilson Street. Mm. Keep an eye on those cuticles. I know. Tell me about it. What is it you do yourself, pal? Friend, in my life I have done things that no man should. I wouldn't bore you with the gory details, but they were vile, unspeakable, horrible things. Who were you? A gangster? Gangster's mole. Stockbroker. And yes, I did lose it all in the credit crunch. Had a bit of a personal crisis. Came back home to chill. After my business collapsed, I dropped out. Figured I'd paid enough tax in my life to fund a dozen cottage hospitals. The state could keep me. So... I invented a personality disorder to keep the Department of Employment at bay. You should do the same. What kind of personality disorder? Well, I find there's only one that really phases them. Makes them back off and leave you free to smell the roses. But I wonder... Are you man enough? Try me. It depends. Hey, I'm not complaining. It's just nice to have my husband back and no widow twanky. <laughs> Don't you worry, Mary. It'll be a bloody long time before you see me in a frock again. A bloody long time. Bastards! <laughs> Mary! You remember that red car that was parked outside last night? Aye. Well, they're back again this morning. And there's a pair of suspicious looking punters in it. You don't suppose? Only one way to find it <clears throat> fight fire with fire. It's him. Look, trousers. In our afternoon session, I'd like to invite you all to open your hearts. If there's any issues that are testing you or troubling you, speak now. And with the Lord's help, together, we can deal with them. Yes, young Christopher. Is it OK to wear flatties with a pencil skirt? What's the Lord's take? <clears throat> May I refer you to the book of Ten Years Younger, verse 8? And God Juan Spake, saying, Bring unto me he that is smart of ours, and smart ours, and I will smite him, fattening his lip into a Botox pout without the use of Botox. And I will blacken his eye without recourse to pencil or mascara. <laughs> Clearing up that fine theological point for you, Yes. Thanks, darling. <laughs> Don't push it. I've already told you there's a bloody good reason why I'm dressed like this. I'm trying to stop my benefit. Now, anyone else troubled? Yes. A boy is taking me to the record hop on Saturday. I've never been on a date before. How far should I go if he gets fresh? Well, I'm glad you brought that up, you pockmarked adult bastard that you are. 